Hello traders, FS Pepcolector here. Today is Friday, March 8th, and this is my analysis of the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the pound dollar, I still am very bullish on the higher time frames. I still think this is very likely to turn into an uptrend. I think it most likely is going to trend up and eventually take out these highs. Probably end up all the way up at one of these Fibonacci extension levels. And today is non-farm payroll. So hopefully this news today is how going to help confirm that this really is a wave 3. So let's take it right down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still think this first post up is a 1. I still think this is 3 down, 3 up, and then 5 down for a running flat wave 2. Higher high wave B, higher high wave C. Definitely fits the characteristics of a running flat wave 2. If that's the case, and that means this is a 1, this is a 2, and this is actually going to keep on trending up for a big old wave 3. So let's take it right down to the daily time frame. On the, the, the daily time frame, I mean, it definitely looks like we have the end of a Kretzen. This is definitely looking like a trend, like a wave one. This looks like a five wave Kretzen, like an A, B, C, D, E Kretzen. This is definitely looking more like a one. This is looking more like a two. And hopefully this just keeps on trending up for a big wave three. Like I said, hopefully today's news is going to help confirm that this really is a wave three. And it's actually not some sort of an ABC Kretzen. So taking it down to the four hour time frame. For our time frame, this is a very strong uptrend right here, and really it looks to me like a 1, 2, 3. So, I mean, it really doesn't look like this is in a position to just go down in a big way. So, even if the news is actually negative for the pound dollar, I think it's probably just going to be a correction to the wave 3, and it's probably eventually just going to keep on trending up. So, the fact that we're already, you know, making new highs and that we have news coming out in a little while does kind of make me think that maybe that initially the news will cause it to go down. But this move down is very likely to, most likely, I think, going to be a crescent to the uptrend. So, taking it right down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, we're not bouncing off a fib level. We definitely don't have a break of structure. I personally would be looking for nothing but long opportunities unless we had an engulfing move down with a break of structure. Now, if that does happen, you could possibly be looking for shorts. But like I said, even if that does happen, it's probably just going to be an ABC correction. And probably later on, maybe later today or maybe even next week, it will continue up for the continuation of the uptrend. But we'll have to watch and see. I mean, it could possibly just make another higher low and just keep on trending up, which is why, like I said, unless it breaks structure to the downside, I am definitely doing nothing by going long at the end of every single pullback I see for the continuation of this uptrend until the higher time frames tell me that this is not an uptrend anymore. I am definitely not going to even attempt to go short. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.